Right, big guy? He knows. <laughs> he knows. That was a compliment. Big guy! It's a compliment. Big girl? Not so much. <laughs> not so much. Should be. But we got liberal ideologues in this country that have decided that you're not allowed to make descriptive terms of people. That's what always bothered me. Big girl should be a compliment, too. You know why? Because some girls are big. Some people are made differently than others, and we should appreciate that, shouldn't we? But you're not allowed to say that. You can't say somebody's fact. Hurts their feelings. Why? When does the truth become offensive? I mean, if that was the only word and it was designed to be malicious, I'd understand. But it isn't. You can say other words. Big bone. <laughs> hefty. <laughs> full-figured. You know what full-figured, hefty, and big bone means? Fact! I'm not a liberal. I don't believe a country is better when you can't say somebody's fat. I'm a conservative. I believe a country is better when you don't think fat is less attractive than thin. That's what I believe in when you appreciate every type of body because it's the way we were made. That's what I appreciate. Every magazine cover has a girl weighing 20 pounds. I wonder if a fat girl feels weird. If you're fat, you're fat, man. That's all I'm saying. You should feel proud. I don't care how many vertical stripes you're wearing. We can tell. <laughs> it's not every fat person. There's a thin one going, I'm hungry. You know, so be careful. <laughs> it's not bad. It's culturally imposed. Middle ages, fat girls were the babes. You see it in all their portraits. They would sit there and let you paint their picture. It took months. <laughs> and they would lay on a couch, <laughs> eating, <laughs> naked. That is a healthy body image. It's culturally imposed. Well, you just can't say it because you are not fat. Yes, I can. You know why? I'm short. <laughs> I am short. I'm 5'6". Do you understand, folks? That means I'm abnormal. If you say you're short, it's not slander, it's true. <laughs> short is the way I'm in. Never gonna be tall, it's what it is. And this is where we've lost the, the, the concept of working towards something greater than ourselves. Again, the liberal ideology says, don't use the words, creating a delusional world where words altered, alter reality. And it's not true. You see, you got two choices. When somebody calls you what you are, you can let it destroy you or you can let it drive you. I'm short and I still was a starting shortstop in baseball, senior year in high school. I'm just short. They wanted nothing for being short. They assume tall guys are athletes. Hey, you're tall. You play basketball? <laughs> <laughs> what do I get? Hey, you're short. Uh, are you a jockey? Or what do you do? What's the deal? At least fat people get to be jolly. <laughs> Short people have a complex. Got a Napoleon complex. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'd rather be fat than short. At least fat people get to be Santa Claus. <laughs> Elf. It's about ungratefulness. If I was fat, I would get down on my knees every day and thank God I live in a country that gives me the option of getting fat. It means I've got an overabundance of food. Other countries that are skinny ain't skinny because they don't like it. They don't got nothing to eat. Fat always means abundance. Fat wallet. Fat paycheck. Shortage.